And it's causing a major uproar all on social media <laughs> right now, currently, still. Yeah. Like people are on TikTok debating, people are on Birdman and Nicki Minaj just going off on Twitter. Drake haven't said anything as of yet. I'm pretty sure there's probably a subliminal on the backup page or <laughs> whatever case, Lil Wayne. You didn't get a chance to check plot twist yet. Yeah, so what the fuck is all going on, man? I think, well, go ahead. I'm going to let you go ahead and cook. So if anybody was going to get this for the 2024 that they had, it had to be Kendrick. Like, yeah, for his year. Yeah. Yeah. For this year, it had to be Kendrick. Like, that's not even up for debate. Now, as far as, you know, it being in New Orleans and everybody thinking it should be Wayne, you know, I feel the argument. But no big artist has performed in their hometown. Like, if we're being for real, Beyonce didn't perform in Houston. Usher, yeah. I want to say, didn't perform in Atlanta. I'm not, I forgot where the Super Bowl was last, this year, but. I don't think it was Atlanta. No, it was Vegas. Yeah. So mm -hmm. nobody really performs in their hometown. Um, yo, for 2024, Kendrick got it. There was no other choice. Yeah. I totally. Uh, it's it's like I'm 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 undecisive as a as a as a now because I don't see nothing wrong with choosing Kendrick, but on the right, but on the other hand, I do see the point of having Little Wayne. Perform. I mean, yeah, but I just don't get the whole aspect of the, everybody from Louisiana saying everybody from Louisiana should have been on there. I definitely don't think that. I don't see it as a snub to Little Wayne that just because it's in New Orleans, they didn't ask him. But I understand the argument. Yeah, I do. I most definitely do too. Um, what was I getting ready to say? Yeah, I forgot. Um, yeah, the whole hot boys thing. <laughs> Yo, they could, they could, they could spin it. It would be fire. But now, you gotta, you know, hot now boys got thirty time. seconds to get the end. Get off the stage. <laughs> nah, because you got Manny Fresh, you got Juvie, you got Wayne. They could do. Excuse me, do some things. Yeah, I just, I just. I do understand the uproar. I just don't think it's that that particularly serious. But I can't understand the argument. It's to say, like, because the whole narrative right now is that the the basically Jay Z is hating on uh, Lil Wayne, I, which I don't think so. If, if it is, if it is, if he, if he is hating, then he's a lame. All of them are lame. Hate hating for what? For yeah, hating for what? That's what that's what I said. Um. And then Master P came out and said <laughs> Little Wayne should be involved. Um no. It's not yeah, no. Like that. They already yeah. picked Kendrick. He's on the island on his own. Wayne shouldn't step into that for various reasons. Yeah, that that'll look too bad if, if he comes and join. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't <laughs> and I don't think Wayne's gonna do that just from a loyalty perspective. No, nah, he's not that type of guy. And one one argument was that. It's not my argument, people. <laughs> one argument was that Wayne is Wayne is a shitty performer, so <laughs> I mean so uh, it's like, and then I've and seen know his own lyrics, so yeah. I, he said that he doesn't remember his own lyrics. I mean he don't he don't write them down, so if I'm doing one take. Yeah, you're not gonna remember a uh, one take that you did from 12 years ago. But to be country. honest with you, for the most part, Wayne wouldn't have to remember all his lyrics. The crowd mm -hmm. would do that for him, especially in New Orleans. Yeah. You tell New Orleans natives that Lil Wayne is going to do the Super Bowl in New Orleans, in New Orleans, they're popping out for that. Yeah, they'll for sure pop out for that. I just don't know if, it, if that'll bring the same national televised audience that it would for New Orleans, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, it would. It's the Super Bowl. People are gonna watch it regardless, you know. Yeah, like, but yeah, but I don't know if that's their if that's their if that's the nation's or if if that's the audience for the. You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but of all the Little Wayne songs to go number one, Lollipop did it. 
He was gonna pull the crowds. Yeah. Lollipop, like, yeah, he'll pull. And if you want to hear a super, if you want to hear a lollipop at the Super Bowl, go ahead. I don't want to hear that shit whatsoever. I don't want to hear it, but it, we can't deny that it was his biggest song as far as charting. I don't think that, that was bigger than really. It did. It did. Yeah, I was watching something earlier. A Millie peaked at like number six. It did. I thought yeah, that Lollipop was number went to number one. All right, so I got the two confused. Yeah. It wasn't Lollipop, but this. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> OD. <laughs> but it's just, it's crazy to me that the songs that are the most like wild in the verses and stuff. Or shit, now nah, Lollipop is wild in the whole Yeah, Lollipop is wild in the verses. But that those are the ones that go number one. Like Kendrick, fucking not like us. Some of the shit he's saying is cool, but this song is essentially calling somebody else a pedophile. Like, mm -hmm. and what? so you think he's performing it? Oh, he's definitely performing it. <laughs> it might loop three times. He should start with a marching band, a college marching band. Yes, he should. Yeah, he could spin that song so many ways. He's definitely performing it. He yeah. might not do the verses, but seeing that performance that um the live performance he did, what streaming platform was it on Prime or something? Five times and the audience sang the verses. So yeah, yeah. he's definitely performing it. Yeah, that's very different from from Super Bowl stage, but I I do I don't disagree. I think he do perform it. I think Kendrick, you get you a marching band. Just do the chorus, and the you got to do the um, pop out and show niggas. You got to do that part. He yeah. he's not gonna say niggas, but you know. Do you think he brings any gifts? Yeah, he's definitely gonna bring some West Coast homies for sure. Yeah, I think so too. For sure, some West sure. Coast homies. <laughs> it's gonna be a West Coast event. Yeah, but this this Kendrick bag, he in the artsy performance, very performative bag. That's one thing I'll for sure give it to him on that. He's very yeah. performative. Yeah. Does that very the, well. The videos, like he's in a bag, definitely. Yeah, from the, uh from the videos before then, from the um from the uh what was that, the Grammy performance when he was chained up and all that type of stuff. When he he gets into that. Especially he did that song with when then he performed with Beyonce. I mean, he might have just did a song, but I think that he performed with Beyonce. Yeah. I think Beyonce had him on stage when she did her Super Bowl. Yeah. Before. Yeah. So that's what I was referring to. So yeah, that's that be his that that is a hundred percent uh dots back. But um the continue the 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 uproar should continue because like I said, Nikki is tweeting, <laughs> the bird man is tweeting. So I'm sure there's going to be some type of calls or conversations uh, happening, spiral, spiraling from from this announcement. 